In this video, we will cover the basics why we operate photodiode in reverse bias. Now, let us take P type semiconductor and see what are the carriers. In P type, in P type, you have number of holes as NH and number of electrons as NE. NH is much much greater than NE in P type of semiconductor. Now if by some mechanism say by excitation or by having photon strike the semiconductor with energy H mu which can generate EH pairs where the electrons cross over from the valence to the conduction band. Now the number of delta NE and delta NH would be equal. These are the electron and hole pairs created because of the excitation by the photodiode because of the energy of the photons. Now if we take ratio delta NE upon NE and delta NH upon NH which one is greater? This one is much much greater because the denominator is greater here. So, the increase in number of electrons in case of p-type is more noticeable than the increase in number of holes because of the photon striking the semiconductor. So, it is the minority carriers, the change, delta change in minority carriers. minority carrier is more noticeable uh, as compared to the change in the majority carriers. Now if we see the basics of the operation of diode, when the diode is forward biased, when the diode is forward biased, it is the majority carriers which account for the current. This is the depletion region this is P type, this is N type. Suppose we give forward bias to it. In case of forward bias, P is connected to positive, N is connected to negative. So when forward bias is given, it is the holes crossing over to this side and electrons crossing over the depletion region which constitute the flow of current. So the current flow is because of the majority carriers, but this is not the case with the reverse bias. In reverse bias, we connect negative to P side and positive to N side and now the current is because of the minority carriers. From P side, the minority carriers are electrons. When they cross over here, suppose take it, take a depletion region, when they cross over crossing over of the depletion region by the minority carrier from P side and holes which are minority carriers on N side to P side constitutes the flow of current. So in the reverse bias the current is due to the minority carriers. So if we see the characteristics of diode and this is the current I we take it as milliampere in the forward bias this is the voltage here the voltage is negative it is reverse bias and we take current please remember always in microamperes because this current is much much small because it is of the minority carriers we are not interested in the quantum of the current what we are interested in case of photodiode is the change in the current the change is the thing which we want to notice in case of photodiode which is more noticeable if we operate it in reverse bias even if the quantum is less even if the current is less but the change would be more noticeable and that is what is the purpose of photodiode in case of photodiode there is a window provided 
by which we can make the energy of the striking photons strike the depletion region create the eh pairs and these eh pairs as i have seen here constitute the uh, ne on p side and holes on the n side which are the minority carriers constitute the current same thing we can see in case of n time n type if we take n type semiconductor in case of n type it is the number of electrons which is much much greater now there this will be just reverse so in case of n type it is the change in the concentration of holes uh, to the total holes which is more noticeable so uh, and holes are the minority carriers for the n side electron are minority carrier for the p side so the change in the concentration of the minority carriers because of the photon energy is more noticeable when it is in reverse bias simply because it is operated in 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 the reverse bias mode had it been in the forward bias mode then the, we are not getting the noticeable change because the current is largely contributed by the majority carriers and not the minority carriers the ratio of the increase of the minority carriers is more when we have this photodiode falling on it and since we have minority current carrier current in case of reverse bias that is why we are operating photodiode in the reverse bias mode so that the change is noticeable when the light falls on it the current uh, there is change in the current the quantum of current and which is then operated in a circuit which is then used for running the devices or as a switch or depends this input can be given to a transistor and that's a different uh, subject altogether so we wanted to cover just the basics of the operation of photodiode in the reverse bias mode thank you